All right, everyone, I've gone handheld, and I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I do it occasionally. I'll try to avoid shaky cam. I had a project in the garage yesterday. I put some shelves up. They're pretty high up because when you park a car, I don't want them interfering with the car, okay? And I want to be able to put paint and long-term things up there. It's a pain to have the paint up there, but a three-year-old isn't going to get that paint and start spraying her face with it, okay? And I have that kind of three-year-old. Well, she's two and a half. Anyhow, notice that one shelf is empty. It's because the wall anchors I bought were horrible, and as soon as you put something on that shelf, it starts coming off the wall. That The middle shelf is kind of bad, too. The shelf on the left is fine, and I can probably put a lot more weight than that on it. So let me talk about these wall anchors because I'm pretty peeved about this. Not just slightly because, well, I wasted an hour and a half of my life trying to fix the mistakes these wall anchors did to me and I still have to fix that one shelf down there. I have to pull it off, put some big old nasty holes in my wall and fix it. The wall anchors I'm complaining about are these. The driller toggle, it says Cobra in the upper right hand corner. I mean, you look at them at first, you think, wow, they're part metal, they're going to be good. I'm not going to have any problems with them, they're going to be great. Okay? I've used these kind before repeatedly and never had any problems with them. And I bought these because I saw the metal parts. I thought they'd be just a little bit better than this. It says it holds 90 pounds. I'm lucky if I can put 3 pounds on that shelf over there without it falling off. In fact, I'm lucky it hasn't fallen off on its own weight. They're lying. They can't hold 90 pounds. I don't trust anything I use with these. Now, let's start talking about what's wrong. First off, look at the screws on this. They're pretty heavy. They're pretty thick. They're pretty wide. Okay? That's not going to tear a big hole in your drywall. I mean, it is kind of, but not really. Let's look at these. Now, let me get a package that's open. Because, well, I'm not using them anymore. Okay, it's going to tell a pretty terrible, pretty big hole in the wall as well. Now look at the fins that are supposed to hold that thing in place. They are tiny. They are not beefy. Let me get my finger on one. Okay. Well, here, let's get one that's been in the wall. Yes, they do break. That's part of my annoyance. Well, they seem to be okay. They feel sturdy here. But I'm going to tell you, in my experience... This metal bit's punching a big enough hole in the wall that when you finally get down to this, it doesn't hold. And you can do it by hand, you can do it whatever. That doesn't hold. So this thing just starts spinning in the wall when you put a screw into it. The other problem is this top part is plastic. Yeah, I don't know what kind it is. It's not styrene. It's probably ABS, if I had to guess. And the threaded length of it's pretty short. So what happens when you take one of these screws and you put it in there, it's not even threaded up there. Wait a minute, let me say this. Look at this. Hold on. Let me switch hands because I'm righty. Yeah, are, are you anyone noticing? I'm just pushing it in and out. It's not even threaded up at the top. Here, I was off camera because I'm doing this handheld. It's kind of hard. Hang on a second. Okay. I got it in there. It's designed for when the screw goes in, it pushes that to the side. And then you twist this to tighten it. And in essence, that would make a really strong hold. It really would do as advertised. But there are some issues. First off, if I unscrew that a little bit, notice... There's no threading on that screw. Since there is no threading on that, and this tends to bore a nice hole in the wall, when you try to screw that in, this thing just spins. And if this spins, there's no way for this screw to buy into this jack part back here, where it's supposed to. So you end up just gnawing a big old hole in the wall. Okay? And since this tends to bend over with gravity like that, you can't pull it back out. And it's designed when you push the screw in to push itself into this position. That's what this groove at the top is for. Okay? 
That's what the groove at the top is for. So you can't pull this thing back out. You have to push it back into the wall to clear it out when it breaks. And they do break. Here's an example of one that broke. Okay? The other thing is these screws are really cheap metal. And look at the back end of that screw. One, two, three, four. Four of them wobbled out, which means you can't tighten them, you can hardly loosen them, and you got another issue because you run out of screws. Because they give you one screw per item. Okay? So anyhow, I'm just warning everyone, don't buy these. They're not worth the money. These, they're cheaper. They don't hold as much, but they work. I'm not going to give you a company name on there, although you can finally probably figure it out on the top by looking at it. Company names don't really matter on those. I've used these for years with little or no trouble. They work great. Those, no. Don't buy them. Just want to give everyone a warning. You know, I'm sure I'm not the only one on YouTube posting things like, don't buy this. Well, there you go. Don't buy that. Get a good look at it so you can see it. All right, thank you. Have a good one.